Welcome Cancers, this is Spiritual Findings and I'm Vera Lynn. Today we're going to be doing a reading for 2020. Now if you guys are watching before the year starts or during the middle of this year, I'm going to have different season setups. I have winter, spring, summer, and fall. I'm going to be pulling a couple cards from the Rider Waite deck as well as I have different Oracle and Tarot decks here. I have Fairies, Angels, Animal Spirits, as well as I have a Vintage Wisdom Oracle card. If you guys are interested in any of these decks, I actually have a video with a deck review for any of my Cancers who are looking getting into card readings. Alright, so before I started this reading, um, I usually always sage the area, you know, say a little blessings, you know, bring me love and guidance and inspirations for my cancers and just have a little time, a little meditation. Sure enough, um, and I've been doing this for two years now online, like even recording in this location, <laughs> and I set off the fire alarm cancer. I have never done that. And, um, you know, nothing changed about how I really was, you know, saging and practicing. But yeah, the fire alarm went off. So for me, that's just telling me that there's something that needs to happen in 2020. There is action that needs to be taken, okay? Um, so I think already in the beginning of the year, I'm getting the sense that there's going to be a lot of things happen, whether that's a personal, you know, new year resolution or... Um, new career path, going back to school, you know, maybe getting some training, diving into that own, you know, that career path, that business you've wanted to open up or something along with enlightenment, uh, maybe reading cards yourselves, you know, I don't know, whatever it is, something needs to happen and it needs to happen at a fast pace, okay? It needs to be alarming. All right, so I'm going to have this card for winter, summer, I'm sorry, winter, spring, summer, and fall. All right. Yeah, sorry, my voice is a little raspy. I've been sick for a while. <clears throat> well, hopefully it doesn't kick out on me completely with this reading. I wanted to get these readings to you guys um, before they were really late. I hope you can get a heads up and kind of plan things out and think about how you really want to go into 2020 and how you want to deal with 2020. I shouldn't say deal with 2020. I should say conquer. Ooh, how are my cancers going to conquer 2020? Because I know the past two years were a little bit rough on you guys emotionally, you know, whether it was bringing, you know, life into this world or, you know, changing up relationships, big career changes. It was a lot. It was a lot on you personally to deal with all of that. All right. Okay, okay, well, all right. They, they want to stay too, so we'll put these out for like you know, a little bit overall kind of readings. I'm doing these readings how they come to me, but I did decide for 2020 I wanted to have sectioned off seasons. That way if you guys are watching this at a later time, it's perfectly fine. All right, you're starting off with the King of Swords, and I love it. Honestly, like, besides the actual Emperor card, I feel like this is the card that would represent a fire alarm going off in your life. So this is really you taking charge authority-wise, you know, um, kind of really ruling your kingdom, career, or love life-wise, family, getting those, you know, um, those, the structure, that foundation that you need, but you're really taking the, the lead role, okay? You're kind of um, being the one in authority, you're stepping on your soapbox, and you're making sure that your emotions aren't run down. Now, however, you could see body posture, okay, and facial expressions here. Let me try to zoom in a little bit for you. And uh, he's calm, he's relaxed, he looks very wise and poised too. So that's how you want to approach conflicts, battles, relationships that have really been wearing and tearing on you, Cancer. Alright? We want to take that and we just want to just be a whole different person. You know, even though we might be a little bit boiling up inside or, you know, I want you to take meditation into account this year. That way we can rule like the king of swords okay when it comes to things that need to be dealt with and with this showing up in winter 
it's definitely something that needs to be addressed now we have the fire line right before this <laughs> right before i pressed record you have the king of swords let's get it going and if you have a new year resolution that you've been wanting to do the past couple years but never had the time because you've been raising babies or you know studying finding a career whatever it might be nope 2020 is it okay we're gonna do it wow okay <laughs> that honestly like this is this is good this is going really good for spring my cancers you have the sun card so once you get through that icky being the boss and kind of changing your emotions and doing everything different we have the sun card so we got to deal with the business first we got to deal with the issues first we got to deal with this crap first to get to the sun card Okay, to get to this utopia. Good spring, everything like that, right? And to my cancers, you might have a few interruptions when you're trying to jump from winter to spring. Um, I feel like maybe it'll be more child, child care, um, more the youthful distractions. Um, I say this just because my lovely children just interrupted the reading but yeah no I mean all in good fun it's not going to be anything like too crazy it's just going to remind you of your priorities and things like that because when we can get concentrated on a project or a certain area in life we can kind of leave our other stuff unintended to so just make sure your family life cancer is attended to and I know my cancers that's going to be hard for you to even do because you guys are very passionate about your tribe okay moving on to summer growth we have growth I was very excited to see this card jump out for summer okay as you as you see in the beginning of the reading it jumped out and it was turned over so I just left it as is it's not like I'm gonna hide it from you guys you guys already seen it I'm very big on shuffling on camera that way you guys can see that uh, you know this ain't BS okay so there's a lot of growth for summer and I like that because we're dealing with a lot for winter and spring okay and spring definitely brightens up we're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel we're seeing you know what we've been putting into the works we're seeing the progress of that so now we're moving in to summer where you're really seeing the growth now this could be uh, promotions this could be education this could be hobbies this could be um, just you growing as a person working with your new body working with your new area of work hobbies I don't know your new line of friends friendships your new relationship I don't know but there's a lot of growth there okay and we want to keep that rolling all right sorry my camera's all out of focus maybe that's a sign for you that you need to stay focused as much as like you're all over the place all over the place we need to remain focused okay so summer you know with with the ace of wands i just feel like it's going to be a fun summer because you're going to be seeing the hard work that you put into now i don't know if that's like cutting out a toxic x um you know dealing with a dead-end job and realizing like look like i gotta change something because i'm not going to be here the same you know d word office cubby five more years because i'm just going to lose it you know right kitty exactly we got to change it all right cancers we got to change it all right so something's going on downstairs i heard something hit the floor <laughs> right shout out to all my mama cancers all right so for the end here for summer i know you can't really see it on the camera here we have the eight of wands so right after we see this growth in summertime for fall I feel like there's gonna be a lot of opportunities that jump out at you and I'm feeling definitely more career something networking wise maybe a loan an investment to start your own business um, more people just investing their time to help you I'm not quite sure what it is but there's gonna be a lot of action come fall so I want you to make sure for summer you're getting in a good vacation that you're relaxing you're eating well you're you know I, I hope for as soon as possible you can get on that meditation cycle and I mean every day twice a day two, 20 minutes a day in the morning and at night you know don't mess that up you need that for you and your family <laughs> you need the meditation everybody does okay so I'm not just singling out my cancers now but for fall it's gonna be busy 
it's gonna be so busy like I mean like kids going to school you going to school getting a new job having you know odds and ends running air like it's gonna be busy maybe wedding somebody's getting married in your family maybe you're getting married I don't know I don't know you don't know what's gonna happen for 2020 but I know by fall you're going to be picking up the pace on stuff. Now, whether that's like, you, you, get, you know, you book a lot of jobs around for holiday season. I don't know, but it's going to be busy. So, but it's going to be a good busy. It's going to be adding, um, you know, benefits to your life, progression. It's going to be good. It's going to be good because you spent the whole year focusing on your growth. All right. Focusing on your passions, your career, your family, you know, because all of that, you're going to be so positive. You're going to have positive affirmations. You're going to be a totally different mindset by fall. Like I'm more relaxed, I want to say. I want to say like life's been pretty stressful for you, but you're going to find out some things about yourself in the beginning of 2020 because you're taking a whole different approach on life that come fall you're gonna you know i don't want to say you're gonna find the answers to life cancer but i know it's going to be definitely a lot more clear on what you want to do with life than it has been for the past two three four maybe even for some of you half a decade to a decade you know sometimes relationships and having children can throw a huge curve ball that you just were not expecting and um it's you time it's you time, okay? It's you time. So come fall, we gotta make a lot of decisions. So therefore, we gotta get in that mindset to make those big decisions. And I'm talking like schools, loans, like very big decisions that have to be made at a fast pace, okay? So we need to kind of learn a little bit more about ourselves before we can make these, because this is lifelong decisions here, Cancer, okay? All right. Definitely a lot going on for you. I don't even remember the last time that I needed to like, you know, do a little editing in the middle of my readings because I had the kids literally like, you could hear them, you could probably hear them before I cut it off, like start to like come up the steps. Um, Cause I heard them. So I try to like, you know, get it to where it'd be a good point for me to pick right back up. But there's going to be a lot like I, you know, I could tell by the fire alarm going off before this reading, me getting interrupted during this reading and, you know, having to do a little bit of adjustments. You know, I think that's just kind of some messages and some some symbology <laughs> behind this whole thing. OK, so take that into account. I think it's going to be beautifully chaotic, just how you want it for 2020, but you know, if you don't take care of yourself, if you don't take them salt baths, if you don't do the meditation, if you don't eat well, don't start exercising at least 20 minutes a day. Come on, like stretch, yoga, I don't care. At least 20 minutes a day, and then definitely meditation every day, okay? Very important. All right, so we need sanctuary we need to that's that's literally like what i was just talking about this is what we need to bring into 2020 you need your own little sanctuary perhaps your own altar where you go for your religious or spiritual beliefs where you do yoga your little spot in your house your tiny little corner where you can just go and lay down to do sit down on a pillow to do some meditation read a book do you know set up that little crafting corner that you've always been talking about okay go after it Make your little sanctuary. Unfortunately, Cancer, at this point, with everybody with where they're at in their lives, nobody's going to make a little sanctuary for you. Okay? So do it yourself. Maybe redecor your house. Bring some beauty back into your life. Okay? All right. I'm going to find a spirit animal for you. And I honestly feel like the Rider Waite deck said it like it was. You know? Because I've been doing the readings a little bit differently, but yours has definitely had a different spin. Okay, so we have four. <laughs> Only four spirit animals. And you know, maybe I'm I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Ready? There we go. Okay. So for fall, or I'm sorry, for winter, 
Your ancestor spirit guides are offering you guidance now. So pay close attention to the signs and the omens from them. So this is the beginning. This is for winter. So you're going to be having a lot of people come to you from the spirit world that want to tell you what's going on. What do you need to do? Don't ignore those messages. All right. The octopus. Okay. This is for spring. Practice shape shifting by altering your physical appearance and mannerisms. Okay. Maybe we need to play a little dress up. Go out somewhere nice. Put on that gown that you've had in your closet for a while that you've been dying to wear, but you just haven't had an opportunity to. Okay. Go to go to something you haven't went to before. I don't you know, there's some really great festivals and things that happen in in spring. And you know, if you're here reading, watching a tarot reading, I'm definitely thinking if it's a holistic fair that's going on or an expo, get to it. Grab your girlfriends, grab your friends, and go. Alright, for summer. We have the Falcon. Act on opportunity that's before you and commit to it without um, evacuation. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm dyslexic. Without problem, I'm gonna say. You know, just fit in some new words if you're dyslexic, right? But it, like, honestly, this fits hand in hand with the Ace of Wands. If y'all look up, like, you know, the typical textbook version of Ace and Wands, that's what it is. Act on the opportunity that's before you. The Ace of Wands is presenting an opportunity of growth for you. All right, <laughs> yeah. I, that's why I love tarot because it's like sometimes it's to me like when I do stuff like this. Like I did not read the cards. Like I kind of looked at them. This is a new deck for me, so I didn't know exactly what the messages would say. When I put them on the seasons, it just perfectly blends in with each card. Let's see the goose. Take time to rest and recru recuperate rather than continuing your striving. So this is for this. Okay, regardless, there's going to be a lot of stuff that you need to do around fall for the next coming year for 2021. Okay, but if you don't take that time to rest, you're just going to burn out and it's going to happen how it has in the past. You've been very passionate about things, getting things together, whether it's just ideas or literally on paper or investments, whatever. But because you've done so much, because you've cared for the kids or because you, your school or work or rat race or life, toxic relationships, whatever it was, you had to put that off to the side, you know? You had to put it off to the side. Let's not do that. We're not doing that because we're handling stuff the way that we need to. We're putting down the authority. We're finding ourselves. We're getting back out there. We're having fun. And because of that, because we're doing that positive affirmations, people are going to want to be attracted to us and come to us. Therefore, this is where this comes into play, the growth, the opportunities. All right? And because of that, decisions are going to be made. Take care of yourselves, okay, Cancers? Meditate, eat well, pick up a book, pick up a good movie. I don't know, but you definitely got to take care of yourself. Slow down. Okay, I had a whole bunch of stack here. All right, let's read them this way. So we're coming from a lot of trauma, anxiety, too much stress. We're not sleeping well, Cancers, and that's got to change, okay? Um, you're making a big presence because this is your card, Cancer. You have the chariot here. So we need balance, okay? We need to bring the balance back into our lives, okay? And I do feel that's where the beginning cards come into play. All right? And you definitely got to be defensive on how you how you go about. You know, when you state something and, and you declare it, you got you to protect it. And that's exactly what he's doing there. But a little fence... He's protecting what he's made. You could tell just by that body posture. He ain't giving up. All right. Queen of Wands. How could you, like, literally, this is just a stack that popped out to the side. You couldn't end with a better card. The Queen of Wands. So we're just going to be peaceful. In the end, once we get the dirty work done, this is how we're going to be ruling the world. Ruling our little tribe. Okay. The Queen of Wands. Peaceful. Okay. Pure. Good intentions. Strong. You can tell she's looking to the left. She's looking towards the future, not the past. 
right? Using good animal instincts with a black cat there, perhaps a little touch of magic in your life, Cancer. All right, maybe you really do want to watch that video, that deck review. Get yourself one for Christmas. For any of you guys watching this later, I don't know, your birthday. All right, Cancers. If you would like to subscribe, like the video, more importantly, ring that notification bell because I do live streams and get yourself a free reading possibly when I do my live streams. I love connecting with my spirit family here and seeing where you guys are from and what's going on with your lives and just doing some chat. All right, so go ahead, subscribe, ring that notification bell. We also have a Facebook page. You can find us at Spiritual Findings Tarot with a Gypsy Soul on Facebook. I post daily there as well as I jump on live streams too. So if you want to get yourself just a little bit more personal spin on what's going on with 2020 or if you have an in-depth question about, you know, an old partner or a career move, you know, let me know. I do all kinds of readings, terical, terical, terical. I think I just invented a word. <laughs> Terracles, no, tarot, tarot and oracle cards, as well as I do wax readings, tea leaf readings, energy healings, good stuff like that. Also, there's some spiritual co coaching on my channel if you want to go ahead and just kind of dive into enlightenment. I have a couple videos that kind of might help you out on your new path, all right? Let's embrace 2020, Cancers. All right, thanks for tuning in, guys. You have a wonderful year.